All right, I know I left you guys high and dry with no no proper video for a while, but I'm back. So if you guys can go ahead, if you're new, go ahead and subscribe. We're almost at 51,000 subscribers, that freaking close. I'm trying to get that right before freaking September. And if you can as well, go ahead and like the video as well. I was trying to get to 400 likes. I'm keeping it with the 400. I greatly appreciate that. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna be talking about how Peter gets the symbiote because there's still a lot of people that have this misconception that he gets it at dr connor's house and i don't really think that makes a lot of sense and yes this is dr connor's house i see a lot of people say that's not dr connor's that's aunt may's no this is aunt may's that's dr connor's they're two different houses and realistically i was even confused during the gameplay reveal but that's a massive misdirect they are definitely kind of trying to make people believe that they're going to get the symbiote in some random basement dr connor's basement like it just doesn't really make sense if you really look at what they've been doing with the story with the symbiote they even show it in the trailer too with the symbiote in some type of random place in some type of containment so i don't really think that they're gonna do it in this type of facility in like some some you know dr connor's basement i think they'll do it in some type of big facility which we also see in a story trailer when of course spider-man is getting attacked by uh, the bear basically so when we see that that building right there is actually an oscorp facility we see more of that in a screenshot too when he gets the symbiote or when he has the symbiote and it actually looks like if we piece it all together this is when he enters enters the facility he starts fighting Craven's men. He goes through the facility, and then this is what happens. He runs into Harry, or something happens with Harry, and the symbiote jumps off of Harry onto Peter, whether it sees Peter as more of a, a better host because he's stronger, or an accident happens, or maybe, you know, Craven is trying to, to somehow get the symbiote off of Harry, and in the struggle, it, it latches onto Peter. So there, there are many things that can happen in this instance, and since Craven and his hunters are there, you know, it really makes sense for them to really have an accident happen and Peter get it instead. And then, of course, we see this fight happening. We see Harry in the background. This took me a while. I mean, I had to watch this at least 30 times to see this. But Harry is in that background when Peter does his big spike ball thing. And I really think that this is the instance where maybe Harry's trying to help Peter or maybe he's actually trying to harm Peter and get his symbiote back. There can be a really weird double-edged sword there because he doesn't really from what we know we don't know if harry knows that peter is spider-man so he can just see spider-man as a thief try to hurt everybody there trying to hurt spider-man trying to hurt uh craven's men and just get the symbiote back and we can see how desperate harry needs it you know we can see how sick he's getting from just not having it for a second and i would really love to see that type of origin for the symbiote but it all makes sense basically when you break it down scene by scene he gets there a commotion happens with Craven's Ben and Harry. He gets the symbiote, and then Harry does something, basically self-destructing the facility, and he escapes the facility. And we all see this. And I really think that this is the instance where he gets it. And I think that even still, the reason why he's even at Connor's house, most likely they're doing Craven's Men are doing a very deliberate attack on uh, Oscorp, on of course Harry and the Lizard and whatnot. And I really could see them potentially doing that in many ways you know once they realize that harry's not an option anymore they go off to lizard and then peter's like oh crap he's at they're at the freaking dr connor's house and then he immediately goes to dr connor's house and that's where the demo picks up so i think that that potentially is where we lead off in many ways you know peter doesn't get it at <laughs> connor's house it just that that right there just doesn't make sense within itself i think a lot of people understand that and I really think that that trailer is a misdirect now saying, you know, new threads are, you know, actually now I'm thinking about it. It's not a misdirect because that is the first time I was would have seen it in the story. If it goes from the Oscorp facility to Dr. Connor's house to, of course, meeting Miles, the timeline works out perfectly. So if that's the case, they didn't misdirect us. That is Miles' first time seeing that. And I really think that, you know, they didn't really change a lot within the actual demo realistically because they talk about harry being sick they show i mean there's not in that whole mission besides maybe craven saying something or miles saying something or genki saying something offline you know there's not really something that they can spoil in that whole demo and it's, it seems like that demo that it shows was perfect i really think that they got it down and i got it down too my theory is probably perfect where it goes from that facility to, to connor's to the whole demo and i would actually love to see if that's what they have in store for us so tell me what you guys in the comments below i really do appreciate all support i'm going to be pumping out as much videos as possible 
all throughout September, it's going to be a freaking fest of videos. You guys have no idea what I have planned. So if you're new, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.